Hi, Facebook world. It's uh, Chuck here. Um, and tonight I want to talk about night routines. Uh, given that daylight savings is coming to an end, uh, that will mean a time change. And those times are always so good for uh, kids who are on the spectrum and adults uh, who crave more sleep. The good part about this one is it's a fallback, so everyone gets an extra hour. However, that means if your kiddo gets up at 7 o'clock, they will be getting up at 6 o'clock. And if they get up at 4 o'clock, they'll be getting up at 3 o'clock. So trying to keep on a specific routine, even in the face of that wonderful uh, discontinuation of daylight savings time, uh, is key. And that means, unfortunately, keeping your kiddo up for another hour maybe, so in making that adjustment in the night just a little bit later than usual. And hopefully they will sleep an extra hour in the morning and you'll get in that, an extra hour of sleep that you don't, wouldn't normally get. Uh, for my son, uh, daylight savings time, either f uh, jumping forward in the spring or falling back in the fall, uh, is always a dysregulating uh, adventure. And a lot of times... We prepare for it by just slightly moving back in the fall his uh, bedtime. So as we get closer to that specific date, we will let him go to sleep a little bit later, um, half hour maybe each night beforehand, and then hopefully he'll sleep in in the morning. And then in the spring, uh, when we jump forward, we put him to bed a little bit earlier every night up until that point, and then hopefully that works out uh, with him getting up uh, at the same time of day, but not the same point of the day. Uh, and then that's the confusing part about daylight savings time. So that's just a helpful hint that we use here at my house. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, or other things that you guys do on your end, you know, please share in uh, the comments to this video. Love to see them. Uh, and then also be sure to check out our other Facebook pages, uh, um, the, the main page, and uh, there's exciting things coming in the future. And uh, we're just here to provide a little bit of help uh, when you guys have questions or problems. So, uh, Keep the questions coming, keep the comments coming, and hope you all have a good night. See ya.